Alright, this one is really easy as long as you know that y is greater than 3 really means all the points where y coordinates are greater than 3. And it's this section up here. All of those, if you pick a single point, are always going to have a y coordinate that's greater than 3. In fact, the one I picked looks like it's maybe got like 4.2 as its y coordinate. But it's greater than 3. That's the only thing that matters. It doesn't even matter what its x coordinate is. Here it looks like it's negative 2. But that doesn't matter. It matters that whatever point you pick in this area, it's always going to have a y coordinate that's greater than 3. Here, if I pick this point, maybe it looks like it's 4.5. So you just look for the place where all the y-coordinates are greater than 3. Um, now, other thing to know is when you have a dotted line, it means we're not including that area. And we don't want to include this horizontal line right here, because if you were on that line, then you would have a y-coordinate of exactly 3. But we said it has to be greater than 3. If you said it could be greater than or equal to 3, then you would go with this one. By the way, this area over here is x is greater than 3. This area over here is x is greater than or equal to 3.